hopefully all three of these games. Of uh, here in Phoenix Wright, and yes. Um, my hope here is to do full voice acting throughout this entire game. We'll see how, how well that goes. And I will preface with this. I do know how the first turnabout plays. I have watched a legal legal video of him reacting to the this turnabout in the anime of this game. So I do know how this turnabout goes past that. I don't. So yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I mean, there are things I know about it, very briefly. I don't remember a whole lot, if I'm being honest. I don't know how any of those cases really go, so... I do know some of the characters just from... John Lodge of this game, but yes, let's do this. First turnabout. District Short, Defendant Lobby number 2, cool. <laughs> Boy, am I nervous. Great! Oh, hiya, Chief. Ooh. Uh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a merch ride right off the bat like this. And I can't- I need a better voice for her. Eh. I think she dies anyways. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> this is a lot of value. And your client as well. Uh, thanks? Actually, it's because I owe a favor. A favor? You mean you knew that to for the case? Because... I don't think that's legal. Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job then. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. I... Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's right, him. Death! Despair! Oh my... Oh, uh, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <sighs> Nick! Hey there, Larry. Dude! I'm so guilty! So guilty! Just give me the death system! I ain't afraid to die! Uh oh, what's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's it, it's all over. I, I I finished, finished. I I I can't live with the her. I can't. Who who took away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, oh, Nick, you you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Hmm. Well, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspaper say it was you, and that's why you're in trial right now. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case, a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested, the unlucky sap... Sap? Sure. The unlucky, the unlucky sap dated her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our s school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. 
he's a knacker himself into trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault, he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. Ho <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Depressing? Hi, okay. Pain. Okay. The prosecutor. Shoot. I, I need like a voice this guy. I don't really do a nerdy voice. <laughs> First. Hi, oh, God. Let's take a bit. <laughs> Well, prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor? Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm, uh, a, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial. Like, hmm. He does kind of look like Santa Claus, doesn't he? It's for night. Can I give him a Santa Claus voice? Like, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho. I like that, alright. Uh, thank- thank you, your honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. No, yes, your honor. Oh god, I don't know anything. <laughs> this test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Well, clearly it's me, F.A. Hey, I mean, come on, clearly. <laughs> I don't think you can see that if I get the achievement for... Answer the wrong wrong thing here. Um, that's why I did that. <laughs> the defendant. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this because it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. All right. It's Larry Butts. The defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Oh, correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name. Ooh, glad I know this one. Ooh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's, um... Maybe I should press the RB button to figure it out. Oh no, wait, I forgot. I told you I'll blank here. Felix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Not the victim? Of course I know the victim's name. Um, I uh, just uh, for forgot temporarily. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's what I did. That's what I did. Oh boy, I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just hit the RB button to check it at any time, okay? Ready to check it off and do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? I mean, Sydney Stone. I haven't even checked that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I do know this case. So yeah. Um, um the victim's name? Yeah, it's, it's Sydney Stone. Correct. <laughs> now tell me. What is the cause of death? She died because she was... Well, hit with a blunt object. She was struck on it by a blunt object. Ho 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 ho, correct. You answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Ho 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 ho. Uh, 
Thank you, Your Honor. Cause I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh, as Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck the blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? <laughs> oh, yes! A murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this listen to events. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is all. You see, only ammunition you have in court. Use the right bumper to check the court record frequently. Oh, 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 oh Mr. Payne. The prosecution may call its first witness. <laughs> the the prosecution. Nah, I lost his voice. <laughs> the prosecution calls defendant Mickey Butts to the stand. Uh, Chief, what do you do now? <laughs> Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get a chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Oh no, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Why is the defendant testifying? Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Butts? Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey! Ah, oh, I, I what was his voice. <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy! <laughs> We're great together! We're probably on Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony! Uh, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She was just. wasn't taking my phone calls or. or seeing me ever. What's it doing anyway? Mr. What? What you just what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seen other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What? What do you mean one of them? Lies! All the lies! I don't believe a word! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this. She died in Paris. <laughs> she died in Paris, yes. She was in Paris the day before she died. I... His voice hard for me to do. I'm, I'm having an issue with it. Oh, ho, ho, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. <laughs> dude, dude like, like, no way. <laughs> the victim's a model, but, but just didn't have a large enough income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. The, the daddies? Sh sugar? Yes, other men who give her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. L like, 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 dude. You can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts. What do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Well, you should definitely stop from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seen other men. That question is clearly relevant to this case. He actually isn't. This is completely irrelevant in every way, but it's, it's... I would rather him not answer that question. Oof, uh. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That's... that's chill, chill. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm just, just, just gonna drop dead. <laughs> yeah, and when I meet her and I'm, 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 I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Ho ho ho, let's get through the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. <laughs> Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you or did you not? 
well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh god, he went. What did I do? I mean, just... I mean... I mean... I don't want to answer that question, if I'm being honest. Um... I'd rather not answer that question. You know? I'll send a signal. Well, that's not a good signal to send. <laughs> uh, well, like, you, you see, it's like, I, I, I don't remember. You don't remember? Well then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can provide he did go to that victim's apartment that day. Ho ho ho! Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? <laughs> the man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He, he like, he like saw the defendant fleeing the sea of the crime. Oh. It, it panned over the butts, so I thought it was good butts. <laughs> he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. Ho, 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 ho. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call as its witness. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <sighs> this is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Schwartz to the stand. Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Schwartz, you sell newspaper descriptions, is that correct? Oh, yes, 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 newspapers, yes. Ho, ho, ho. Mr. Schwartz, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Alright, witness account. <laughs> I was going door to door selling descriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half behind him. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw uh, lying there a woman, not moving, dead. You would think I would notice the pile of blood and instantly realize that, but no. We gotta draw this out and make it dramatic, because, you know, that's the voice I'm going for, and that's how we're telling this story. I quailed in f fright and found myself unable to go inside. <laughs> I, I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in my apartment was not working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who... The man who, who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hey, <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. <laughs> oh. Incidentally, why wasn't the victim's... Why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Hey, <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. Oh, that's, that's more of a voice. He's, he's not evil. He's more of a nerd. Um... Yes, Your Honor! Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. At the time of the murder, the vi there was a blackout in the building. Huh. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Uh, I mean, yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones don't function normally. The phone that Mr. Schwitz used was one of those, Your Honor. <laughs> I have a record of the blackout for your personal. Cause like his voice, I'm trying to like do it without like I'm trying to have like my teeth closed to his voice, and I can't get that consistent. It's weird. But it's weird in his voice. Oh ho ho ho! No, Mister Wright. Uh, yes, sir. Or yes, you are. Oh, you may begin with your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Um, 
What exactly am I supposed to do? <laughs> Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He, he was lying? What do you mean? <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or if your client really is guilty. Ugh. Ah, how do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. <laughs> First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you've found the Contradicted evidence. Present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Then, open the court record with the right bumper. Then, point out the contradictions in, his, in the testimony. Alright. Yep, I'm fine with that. Not that statement. Less in a hurry. I mean, I'm fine with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh... Now, we haven't learned about pressing yet. I would press a statement. But we haven't learned that yet. There's, cl there's a clear contradiction somewhere in here. Thinker... New to six, and that fits. Now, just 4 to 5 p.m. Okay, so I mean, I think so I'm gonna present. I'm gonna present the autopsy reports with the time same as 1 p.m. is what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. Present. Why present? Okay. You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death was sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to her... <laughs> no body to find at 1 p.m. How exactly do you explain the three-hour gap? Hey. Oh, that. Oh, uh. Objection. I turn my volume up. This game's probably pretty quiet, but I'd rather it be too quiet and too loud, to be honest. Hee <laughs> hee! This is trivial! The witness really forgot the time! Oh. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Schwitz, why are you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> Great job, Mr. Wright. Way to put him on the spot. Now, that's all you have to do. Contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, er, <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> Will you care to give your testimony again? <laughs> yes, 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 time of discovery, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You see, when I found the body, I, I, heard, I heard the time. There's a voice saying the time. It's probably come from the television. Yes, yes, yes. Because during a blackout, televisions that can absolutely play. Yes, definitely, definitely, yes. Yes, definitely, yes, yes, yes. Oh. But, uh, it, it was three hours off, wasn't it? Why, well, I mean, we're in New York. Maybe it was coming from, I don't know, Anaheim. San Jose, maybe. Maybe the San Jose Sharks were playing the Vegas Golden Knights in Game 7. And, you know, maybe somebody, you know, just died. And then there was a game misconduct, and the San Jose Sharks accidentally somehow managed to win the game off of a phantom call. 
And uh, may maybe a rule can introduce because of it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you know, whatever. I guess the the the, 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 vic the victim must have been a Vegas Golden Knights fan. That's why they were dead. Because, you know, wa wa watching that just absolute destruction and just torture of their team because they can't, you know, not let in three power play goals. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm sure that's why she was on the ground crying. You know, definitely. Maybe it wasn't but after all. <laughs> and you know, and that's probably why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry I, I about the misunderstanding. <laughs> hmm, I see. <laughs> you heard a voice say that the time on a tape program. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross exam the witness. Okay, right. You know what to do. <laughs> I've got this one, trust me. Alright. Um, blackout report? Blackout report. Blackout report, yes. Noon to 6 p.m. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. You know, the reason you can call on the phone? And this record proves it. <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Hey. Hi, hi, well, Eric, um... Hmm. The defense is a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Schwitt? <laughs> No, I, 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 I find it quite fuzzy myself. Quite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, ah, wait, 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 I remember now. <laughs> oh, Mr. Swit, the court would prefer to hear accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. <laughs> the, 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 that, and you, and you, you seem rather, <laughs> oh. I am doing the voice based off the person on the screen, not 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 the name. Oh, 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 that, and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> what? <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, 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 it must it must have, have been a shocking shock of, of, of finding the body. <sighs> oh, 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 well, you know, very well, Mr. Schwit, you know. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. <laughs> Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I, I saw it. Yes, yes, I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yes, yes. Yeah, the, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must be what I saw. Ho, 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 ho. You saw a clock? Well, I mean, you know, I guess that would explain it, you know, because... I'm really dumb. Ho 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 ho! The defense may cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Gladly. Alright. So... This is a clock. Though, right now, we don't know that's a clock. We weren't told this is a clock yet. So, let's press him on that. Right? The murder weapon? <laughs> yes, the, the table clock goes used to weapon. That's what I just said. Did, did you toast off the mid and like test my something? Something's fishy here. Do you want me to present? Do you actually want me to present that? All right, I'm not gonna do that. Cause this is the murder weapon. We have notes o'clock, but I mean, all right. Objection. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon. Wasn't the clock. Oh, I mean, it is a clock, but it was a statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? 
you know, you, you always have evidence, you need your evidence, just who you think you are, <laughs> you know, here, here in the U.S., you know, we don't care about your evidence, we, do, we don't care, no, no, no nothing matters, no, no, nothing matters, <laughs> just answer the question, Mr. Schwitt. Hey, 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 I, I, I saw it, okay, that's a clock. Uh, your honor, if I may. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, <laughs> the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says time out loud. And it doesn't look like... As it doesn't look like a clock. I submitted a statue. My apologies. See. So, the murder weapon was a tip clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony is correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Uh, yes. <laughs> Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in this testimony. The only way he could have known what was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he clearly never entered the apartment. Did he say that? Well, if he tried the phone, he entered the apartment. Um... But alright. <laughs> Clearly, a contradiction. Oh, indeed. The witness. There was a clock because he. Well, went into the apartment. Hey, you're lying. He went inside the apartment on the day of the murder. <laughs> yeah? Prove, prove, prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you're the one that killed her. <laughs> you struck her with the clock. And the shock of the blow triggered the voice, the clock's voice. <laughs> that sound he heard. Order, order in the court. Intriguing. Please, intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Schwitt, the sound must have left quite an impression of, on you. Understandable. Since the murder weapon spoke just to get the victim, that voice was burnt into your mind. That's why you're certain about the time. I'm gonna do that voice. <laughs> what's, what's the meaning of this? This is how baseless conjecture. Baseless? <laughs> just look at the witness's face. <laughs> oh, oh, would the witness be elaborate? Did you strike the victim with a clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I, I never. <laughs> look, look, the clock, I heard, no, no, I mean, I saw, saw, <laughs> Jesus. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, I saw, I saw, I saw him. He, he, he killed her, and he, and, 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 and he shot her. Burn, give him death! Order, order in the courts. I say. <laughs> Your Honor, a uh, moment, please. <laughs> there isn't a shred of evidence su uh, supporting the defense's claim. Oh, Mr. Wright? Uh, Your Honor? <laughs> oh. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock? Do you have any evidence? I mean... The whole, the whole case is right on this. Better think about it carefully. <laughs> Your Honor? The sound Mr. Schwitt heard was definitely this clock. And a fact which is clear if you simplify... That sound the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court, and prove that it's still in Paris time, which is 14 hour, a 14 hour difference. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the courts to listen very carefully. Oh, oh. that is certainly a strange way to announce the volume. Well, he is the thinker, after all. Oh, oh. so he wrote the clock. What is... What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? 
Mr. Mr. Payne. Oh, sorry. Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's, uh, 11.25. Heck! <laughs> As you can see, the clock... Oh, 14, 15 hours. Whatever. As you can see, the clock is exactly three hours slow. Or maybe it's nine hours. It's... I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Precisely the description between what Mr. Schwitz heard and the actual time of death. <laughs> so, so, oh. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll I'm, I'm, get used to this, but I'm gonna keep doing it for a while. So, Mr. Schwitz. Try and talk about this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing? Oh god, what's he talking about now? <laughs> well, it makes some of the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it's running three hours slow the day of the murder? <laughs> if you can prove that, if you can't prove that, then you know the case. I mean, not to just have to prove that there's credible doubt, but I guess this is not Japan. I mean, sorry, this is not the US, it's a weird Japanese version of US law, which... Yeah. Hey! Hmm. It's right. How am I gonna prove that? Damn it! I'm so close! Oh, Mr. White! It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your, your claim. Eh? Hey? Yes, Your Honor. Ho oh, ho! This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross examination of Mr. Frank Schwartz. <laughs> I could be all down and testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! Your lawyers are all slime. Ah, oh, let's add him. I'm sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. That's a bass, Mr. Schwitz. Uh, Mia? I mean, Chief? <laughs> Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it, it, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yeah. That doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside the box. Don't waste your, don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow, and think it through. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Was it because she just came from Paris? F figure that out, and you'll have your proof. Right, 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 right. You're right. You're right. Right, right, right. right. Can you think of a reason why the clock three hours slow? Uh, Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You just have... You, you must have the evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it, and let them have it. Oh, oh. Well, Mr. White, you said the clock was already running slow the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? <laughs> of course. There is proof of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a reasonable doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's see, pull this one off. <laughs> oh, oh, the evidence that proves why the clock is running slow was. Take the passport. Y percent, not A. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between, between here and Paris is nine hours. Yeah, I knew that. Not definitely, yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, well, where are they? Are they in New York or are they in. I thought they were in New York. I don't know. May maybe they're in California. Who knows? Doesn't matter. <laughs> so, when it's 4 p.m. here, it's actually 1 a.m. the next day there. Clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. 
the victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Schwit? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Rumble, 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 rumble. Order, order, I say. Ho, 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 ho. Well, this case certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. Your oh, arrest has been taken away, Your Honor. Oh, very well. Mr. Wright? Hey, yes, Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've seen someone complete, in the, someone complete the defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. I think you are. At this point, this is only a formality, but the court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Yay! And with that, the court is adjourned. And it turns out, Frank Schwitt was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper. He, he posed as newspaper sales, as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Schwitt let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching, while he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Schwitt grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Hmm. I still can't believe it won. <laughs> right? Good job in there. Congratulations. Uh, th thanks, Chief. I, I owe it to you. <laughs> not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never seen the Chief happy, looking this happy. If she's as glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My, my, my life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What, 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 what What's wrong now? Aw, Nick. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No, I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, 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 you're instant. The case closed. But, but, but S Sydney, Wendy's gone, man. Like, 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 gone forever. Larry, she was a. Ah, uh, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Buttsis. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> thanks, uh, like, uh, thanks. I really owe you one. Yeah. Uh, forget this. Ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. <laughs> oh hey. Hey, here. Take ta this. It's a present. A uh, present for me? Wait. Wasn't this seven that... <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I made, I made this clock for her. <laughs> I, I made one for her. I ate too quick. Oh. Well. Really? You, you made this? Huh. Well, uh, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. You, Nick. Can, can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And like, and like, she was just <laughs> playing me for a fool. Like, 
like, like, don't that make you like, like, want to just like cry? <laughs> Larry. Hey. Are you are you sure? <laughs> Excuse me. I, th I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah. You can sympathize me. God, I, I can't do his voice without him panicking. <laughs> his voice for me was just panic, and now it's like, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> nah. You don't gotta, like, sympathize with me. So, okay. Oh. Uh, I'm not sympathizing. Really? Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, um... Yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? I just gotta be the statue. I mean, literally has to be. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Checks out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. <laughs> huh? What about that clock, like? This is a clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> Whatever. She's probably just, like, needed a clock, that's all. Y you think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Yeah. No, make for what you will. Yeah. Hey, hey, Nick. <laughs> I'm glad I asked you to be, like, my lawyer. <laughs> really, like I am. Thanks. Hope it made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I, I guess so. Say, how about dinner, mommy? We'll drink a toast to an innocent box. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of, of the reason you became a lawyer was because of him? Or er, yeah, part at least. Yeah, I'll tell you more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's so good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not used to- he's, he's not gonna pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave to Mia. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be this at but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident and i promised to tell chief about me and larry it would be one promise that i wouldn't be able to keep all right I do rem Okay, cool. So yeah, that was the first turnabout. And yeah, I'll probably continue doing this. Um, not in this episode, obviously. I'm going to try to keep these episodes separate. Or I guess this video, because this game calls these chapter or turnabouts episodes to turnabouts. Uh, but yeah. Maybe I'll figure out how to do more voices. Hopefully there's more female voices. Because I can play more around with that rather than, like, five different guy voices. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll fix them out. But yes, that has been the first episode of the first game. I believe there's five episodes per the th each game, so 15 episodes in total. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Assuming I don't go to... Well, I mean, I'll do this eventually. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cool.
Yes, I want to save. Or what? I don't remember doing that. Oh my god, look at all the save slots I can have. When did I play this game in 2019? That's basically a year ago. Cool. <laughs> basically a year ago. Okay. Cool. Alright, well I don't want to do this yet, so... We're going to stop this here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.